Today, we will be discussing all about prime factorization using continuous division. But before that, let's try to review first the concept of prime numbers. When we say prime numbers are numbers having two factors only, one and itself. Now, we have examples here. 2 is considered a prime number because the only two numbers that when you multiply the answer is 2 or 1 and itself or 2. Now, 5 is also a prime number because the numbers that can only be multiplied and the product is 5 or 1 and the number itself which is 5. And the last example here is 7. So 7 is also a prime simply because the only two numbers that can be multiplied and the answer is 7 are 1 and 7 itself. So again, do not forget that when we say prime numbers, it has on prime numbers, they have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. So that concept has, sorry, that concept has something to do with prime factorization using continuous division. So again, when we say prime factorization, it is the process of getting the prime factors of a given number. So our objective for today is to get the prime factors of a given number using this continuous division method. Now let's start with the first example and the number here is 18. So since the number here is 18, the first step that we are going to do is to find numbers that can divide 18. And I believe you would agree with me that the numbers are 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. And of course, 1 is possible also. So these are the numbers that can divide 18. When I say can divide, meaning to say when you divide 18 by 1, it will give you an exact answer. 18 divided by 1, 18. 18 divided by 2, 9. 18 divided by 3, 6. 18 divided by 6, 3. 18 divided by 9, 2. And 18 divided by 18, the answer is 1. So these are the numbers that can divide 18. But since we are looking for prime factors, we need to identify. In these numbers, 6 is not a prime. 9 is also is not also a prime and 18 is not a prime. How about 1? Is 1 a prime? 1 is not a prime number because when we say prime, it has two factors. But 1, the only number that can be multiplied, the answer is 1, is 1 times 1 at, and it has only one factor. So therefore, 1 is not considered a prime number. So the prime numbers that can divide 18 are 2 and 3 only. So you can use either 2 or 3. So this time, I will be using 2. Okay, that's it. Now, 18 divided by 2, that will give me 9. Okay, I will encircle 2 because this is already a prime. Now, 9 is not a prime number. Since this is not a prime, we need to continue the process. We need to find prime factors that can divide 9. So, I guess you would agree with me that the numbers that can divide 9 are 1, of course, possible, 3, then 9. But take note, 1 is not a prime, of course, 9 is, also, is not also a prime. So, therefore, we will use 3 here. So, that will be 3. So, 9 divided by 3, which is a prime, that will give you 3. That's it. 3 is a prime already, so we need to stop the process. So, therefore, we found out already the prime factors of 18. And the prime factors of 18 are 2, 3, and 3. So, we can say that 2 times 3 times 3 is 18. 2 times 3, na 6 times 3, 18. So, the prime factors of 18 are 2, 3, and 3. Now, let's have another example. 
and can we have 24? So the same step, you need to find numbers that can divide 24. And that will be 1, I will just uh, give you the numbers. And I know already know the numbers. 1, 2, there are many. 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. But we cannot use this number, all of these numbers, because we need to find the prime numbers only. And I believe you will agree with me that 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 are not prime numbers, as well as 1 is not a prime. So the only prime numbers here are 2 and 3. So we will use 2 or 3. So this time, I will be using 3. Okay, 3 is a prime. I will encircle that already. Okay, that's it. 24 divided by 3, the answer is 8. Take note, we need to continue the process since 8 is not a prime. So we need to find prime numbers that, when, that can divide 8. So the numbers that can divide 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. But take note, we are just looking for a prime number. So 4 and 8 will not be possible. And 1 is not also included. So we will be using 2. So 2 is a prime. So we can divide that. So, so we can divide 8 by 2. 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. And take note, 4 is not a prime, so we need to continue the process. So let's try to find numbers that can divide 4. The same thing, 1, 2, and 4. 1 is not a prime, 4 is not a prime, therefore we will use 2 again. <laughs> 2. So therefore, 2 is a prime. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Now, 2 is a prime, so we need to stop the process. So here are the factors, or no, here are the prime factors. 2, 2, 2, and 3. So therefore, the prime factors of 24, I'm going to start with the least number. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So let's check if, it, this, if the answer is correct. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. So these are the prime factors of 24. Now let's have the last example, and the number here is 42. So the same step, students and viewers out there. Oh, what happened to my voice? <laughs> okay, 42. So we need to think of numbers that can divide 42, that can exactly divide 42. So what are those? One. Two, there are so many. Uh, three possible, yes. Four possible also. Five, no. Six possible. Seven possible. Uh, eight, nine, no, no, no. Twelve is possible. Okay, sorry. Twelve is not possible at all. Sorry. I'm just human. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, 6 and 7 are possible, 21 possible, and okay, that is for not 12, it's 14 possible, and 42, okay, okay, so these are the numbers, but since we cannot use 4, 6, 4, 6, they are not prime numbers, 21, 14, 42, they are not also prime, as well as 1, not prime. So the numbers that can divide, the prime numbers that can divide 42 are 2 and 3, as well as 7. This time, I will be using 7. Okay, 7 is a prime. So we, let's try to divide. 42 divide 7, divided by 7, the answer is 6. Take note, 6 is not a prime. So we, we need to continue the process. The numbers that can exactly divide 8 are 1, 2, 3, as well as 6. 1 and 6 are not prime, so we will just use 2 or either or 3. So can we have it 3? Yes, so we can have it. So 3 is a prime. 6 divided by 3, the answer is 2. Oh, what happened? Oh, there's an... There's an alarm. <laughs> Sorry for the alarm. <laughs> okay. So it's 12 already. 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Let's let's go back. 6 divided by 3. The answer is 2. And 2 is a prime. So therefore, we need to stop the process. Okay. That's it. So, uh, sorry. I'll erase that. So therefore, 
the prime factors of 42 are the prime factors of 42 are 2 3 and 7 so we can have 2 times 3 times 7 that's it so these are the prime factors of 42 so i hope you learned something for today and i hope you keep on watching this video for you to master the concept so have a nice day everyone god bless and keep safe